Beyonce is everything.、Mm -hmm. Just period point blank. It's、She's, Beyonce. It's Beyonce. It's Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Demi Singleton. Hi, I'm Sunai Sydney, and we're here with Elle playing Ask Me Anything. <laughs> oh my goodness, our reaction when we figured out we got Venus and Serena. Well, for me, I was crying. Yes, hysterically <laughs> crying. But I was, I was so excited. I just couldn't wait to tell the story. I fell in love with the script, and I was just couldn't wait to kind of jump into my. Childhood hero shoes, and I was ready. I definitely felt the same way. I was very excited.、Um, like Sana, I just mentioned Serena and Venus. They're both our childhood heroes and strong black women that we've looked up to. Before we started filming, I think we did our, a lot of our own research, just looking on the internet for like archival videos and. Um, photos of when they were a little girl. For Serena specifically, there aren't a whole lot of them out there. Not as many as Venus, because Venus kind of stepped into the spotlight a little bit before Serena did. So it was a little bit difficult for me. But once we did start filming, Miss Isha Price and Lindrea Price, their sisters, they had a lot of things to share, and that really helped us. The first time that we met her, actually, when Serena and Venus came, we were singing "Baby Shark" with her. Yep. Which was so cute. That's our song. And she taught us how to play a slide, or she thinks she taught us. She says all the time she's like, "Mommy, you know the girl who plays you, mommy, and the one who plays Auntie Vivi, they're my friends." <laughs> When we found out that she that she was on our soundtrack, I think we were both like shocked. Yes. Because actually, we're pretty close with Miss Isha Price. Um, and she had told us it was going to be a different song by a different person, so we were expecting that song.、Uh, but that's not the song we heard when, when we when we had our screening, and so we were kind of like, "Oh my god!" We were in the theater, and Sana is like, "That's Beyonce!" And I was like, "I know!" We were so excited. Have we met Beyonce?、Uh, no, <laughs> not yet. I went to the 2019 Lion King premiere, and she was there. That was the closest I'd ever been to Beyonce, and even with that, I'm happy. Beyonce is everything.、Mm -hmm. Just period point blank. It's Beyonce. It's Beyonce. It's Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Big、oh, yeah. fans of、yeah. Mr. Will. We were we were huge fans of him. It took some time to not just. Geek out every time、yeah. I saw him, but after a while, we're just like, oh, it's Mr. It's Will. Mr. Will. I think、yeah. we're, I think we're still fans of him, but it's、oh, like,、yeah. it's like we're able to contain our excitement a little、mm -hmm. more,、yeah. um, and it's a little, you know, less like we're fangirling and more like looking up to him in a way. Yeah, we're family now. Yeah. The best piece of advice that we received from Mr. Will Smith, I think, just to stay humble and stay ourselves, and、um, to know who you are. He would say that all the time、mm -hmm. to have fun. I think one of the many lessons just by watching them is to stay true to yourself.、Mm -hmm. They've accomplished so much and have so much success, but really, they they never forget where they come from, and they're they're true to themselves, and they're so humble. Well, I mean, that's part of the job, right? <laughs> Yeah, to look like、so. professionals. We did a lot of tennis training,、mm -hmm. um, both of us. For me,、mm -hmm. it was、um, maybe two to three hours a day, Monday through Friday. For it was a month and a half before COVID, and then after COVID, when we came back and learning how to play like two of the greatest athletes of all time is very difficult. But I think we were both up for the challenge because of this. What the story is. I remember our last our last day filming. Yeah. And we were like sobbing. Yeah, it was so emotional. But I think that feeling of like, oh my goodness, we really became a family. It's kind of just like, you know what? I love you. We'll see you soon. Yeah. And that was just very heartfelt, you know. Yeah. Oh wow, that experience of shooting First Ladies was so awesome. I really felt like I was living in the White House because we were shooting in a White House replica, so it kind of just felt real. And we had like. The Secret Service and everything. It was. It felt legit. It was the craziest thing. Miss Viola would talk on the phone with First Lady Michelle Obama, and I'd say, "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> But they knew of us, and I was like, "That's enough." If former President Obama and Michelle know who I am, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I can go to bed knowing that they know who I am. Our inspirations growing up. Who would you I think, say? I think. I think for me, it would have to be all the women in my family.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
And then, Beyonce. You can't forget her. <laughs> I definitely say my grandmother, who is my best friend, and my mom, and my sister. And then also, it was a big sports family. So Venus Serena, Simone Biles, she mm. came a little later, and then Gabby, Gabby Douglas. Douglas. Oh my god. I, These I, are I, questions. I, I, have, I have like multiple answers. I would love to work with Florence Pugh, um, uh, Kerry Washington. Oh yeah. It's like everyone's coming to my mind. I I'm I just think, like, oh, I think for me, Angelina Jolie and Halle oh, Berry. I love, I love those women so mm. much. I think for me, baggy jeans. The movies, the music. Oh, the music too. The yeah. environment. I think just the 90s in general yeah, is just it's like just the best so decade. Awesome. And I think I wasn't like, even there, but right. I think it's the best decade. I think <laughs> like not having iPhones and just like, you know, having to go outside and talk <laughs> to your friends and go to the mall and turn it into that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much <laughs> for watching us play Ask Me Anything with Elle.